Hi everyone, this is Deborah. So things, uh, really good things have been happening to me. Thank goodness. If it kept up like it was, I don't know what the hell. <laughs> uh, but I'm a fighter. And uh, so I took my grandchildren. Well, not my grandchildren, my granddaughter and her fiance to Red Lobster last night. And I tell you, I had a really good meal. And uh, my face has fallen, literally. Um, so I'm going to go get Botox. About 20 shots. Let's see, about six shots here, about two to four here, and then a whole bunch here. And I'm going to get my lips done because, look at this, I have no lip. I want them to do something with this upper lip because you can't see it. See? Uh, you can't see my lip. I think lips are sexy. Now, I'm not going to go and get all those huge-ass lips some of them girls get. But, yeah. So, uh, I, char I'm charging at my camera. Um... My granddaughter has just worked a full shift, so I'm going to get her to get some KFC because I will be on a on the couch tonight with an ice pack. And I don't know if you've all, if any of y'all have ever had your lips done, but the hyaluronic acid, I believe, it plumps up. So any kind of water that's in your face, it balloons up like somebody smacked you. So I'm going to have to sleep with uh, ice pack on my lips. So uh, I'll show them to you tomorrow, maybe. Okay, so uh, I don't know what it's about. Uh, now this is the first time since I sold my condo that I've done something for myself. A, a couple of my subscribers think I'm a gold digger. Honey, you're not a gold digger if you pay your own god dang bills. So, so get that out of your head. And, you know, the thing of it is us women need to s uplift and support each other, not give others labels you know, so I consider that bullying. That's what I do. I consider that bullying. Um, and a lot of people are still confused. How could you keep going on vacation? Well, it's because I already worked for 47, 50 years. I've been working since I was like 14 and a half. Uh, I paid my dues, darling. Okay. Plus, I have friends who... Uh, did own a villa in the Dominican and they would only charge me like $30 a night. Where else can you go for $30? You can't even stay in the States for $30. So, um, so the other thing is they sold that villa and, uh, they also own a hotel in Ocean City, which is where I'll be going in a, as soon as I close on this house that I bought. And uh, so they got a timeshare now where they can stay anywhere in the world. Now, right now, they're in Puerto Vallarte. And I guess that's how you say it. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to meet them. And when they get back at Ocean City, and they're driving me to BWI. Um, so I don't have to worry about Ubering. My granddaughter bought this. So I am finding out that every everybody that I have been staying with, for exception of one, has so many issues going on and uh, and the least I can do is help people uh, with with their laundry or whatever because I love doing laundry and I um, also don't mind doing dishes either. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to try to close early as possible and I'm going to get my granddaughter to check on my house while I'm gone because it will be vacant for a little while. So she's going to go in there and check on it, make sure nothing's frozen or leaking or whatever. So uh, I am going to get a warranty, but first I want to read the fine print because home warranties, if they're like car warranties are a joke. So I want to make sure they just don't cover like 30% because my HVAC is not going to last. Uh, yeah, so I got it. I, I want to study the fine print. So I wired my deposit today of 5000 
I'm not winking at you. I have something in my eye. Because, you know, I have that surfer's disease where I, I've always worn sunglasses, but maybe not the proper ones. But I've done a lot of videos about that. So, uh, my granddaughter loves daffodils. It was my mother's favorite flower. The only thing is, she's got leaves covering up all her daffodils. I love her so much. I don't know if y'all have been watching me for 14 years, but she's the only reason why I'm here, really. She was an angel to me. I wanted to end it all going, when I was going through my divorce, but I realized that my love for her was more than anything in this world. Yeah, because I never had any support during my divorce. And she was only like nine or ten years old. Of course, I could not tell her things. But I never had the support of my daughter or son. Uh, they thought I was the problem. Um, they thought everything, you know, that I was some crazy ass bitch. No, they have both cried and told me mom we now we now understand because you gotta have a certain amount of emotional maturity to see things from both sides but they get it now they understood i had no choice but to leave but um but now i do have their support and i am grateful for that so don't give up if your family has ostracized you for whatever reason don't give up most of the time they come around. So thanks for watching. Bye.